everybody what is up if you are new here my name is pamela i am a part-time reseller over on polish mart aka scooter renee also on instagram youtube all the other platforms you name it i probably already claimed it so today i am wanting to go over what my january sales were for the month and this is the first time I've ever done this, so please be patient with me. If you see my eyes going back and forth, I'm looking between two different computer screens to kind of give you the lowdown for January. If you like what you see in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new or returning and have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And to be notified every time I have a new video, please ring that little bell down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me share with you what went on for the month of January. So the first thing I sold in January was this Columbia ski jacket. And by the way, I will have everything on the side here so you can see what did sell. One of these sides, I'll have it on. Anyways, first up was the Columbia ski jacket. It sold... It was the very first thing I sold on January 1 of the first of the year. Um, sold it for $32 and it sat in inventory for 365 days. Now I have plenty of space for inventory, so I'm not really dead set on how long I have things set in the inventory. So I do have some things I've set for quite some time that some people probably be like, oh my gosh, why, why has she not got rid of that? And it seems like those items tend to sell as soon as I start thinking about getting rid of it. So maybe I should think about getting rid of all of it. Maybe. So that was the first thing that sold in January. The second thing I sold was this Lululemon Heather Gray Pink Strap Tank. And it sold for $15. And it sat in inventory for 16 days. The next items I sold was in a bundle. They were the exact same identical item, but I had two of them, and it was this Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria's Secret Ipex Demi Bra, and they were both black, both in incredible condition. I thought they were pretty much brand new. Anyways, I sold both of these for $20 in the total bundle package. Next up is this J. Crew Sleepless fringe sweater. Now, I thought this sweater was absolutely cute. Had fringe on the bottom with the cream color and navy blue stripe. It sold for $14 and it sat in inventory for 125 days. Next up on the list here is this Kate Spade navy carry-all wallet. I thought this was super cute. It was navy blue with a big blue bow on the wallet. And the inside was in incredible condition. You could have not known that it had ever been used because of the inside. That was so neat. Outside, you could tell that it had a little bit of wear, but the inside was immaculate. Sold that for $30. It sat on in my inventory for 75 days. Next up is this Simon Chain top. And this one, I kind of took a little bit of a loss on. I thought it was one that my daughter had given me, and then later, after I sold it, I realized, oh no, <laughs> it was actually something I paid money for. Anyways, no harm done. I only lost 75 cents, so, but I sold it for stupid cheap, and that was for $5, and it, but it had sat in my inventory for 562 days. So I was ready for that to get out of here. So we were getting close to that two-year mark. In two years, I do think gets a little too much. But anyways, got that out of my inventory. Next up were these Talbot Animal Print Leather Heels. And these heels were stunning. It had the, the faux hair on the outside of it. And the person that ordered these for me absolutely loved them. I loved them. Hated to see them go, but they needed a home. Sold those for $22, and they were in inventory for 253 days. Then, next up was this gorgeous Johnny Was Embroider Swimsuit. I got this at an estate sale, and the embroidery was along the top of the suit, as you see here. And it was in 
excellent use condition. It needed to have a new with tags on it, but it didn't just stunning piece I've ever seen as far as a swimsuit is considered. Anyways, sold that for $50 and that sat in my inventory for 82 days. Next up is this Fallout Boy hoodie. So any Fallout Boy fans out there, um, I sold this, had a hood on the back of it, charcoal gray, burgundy, excellent condition. Sold that for $22 and it sat in inventory for 171 days. Next up is this Athleta Thread Light Relax Tea a sim yoga top i think is how you pronounce it and it sold for ten dollars and only sat in my inventory for 10 days and i probably could have held on to it a little bit longer but i didn't pay much for it and the quicker the better on some things i like to flip fast and some things i'll sit on it as you can obviously tell some things not on purpose though i shall say and next up here is this Japanese vintage kimono robe. I found two of these things and they sell so quickly for me. The first one I sold, I could actually authenticate where it came from, who it was made by and so forth. This one did not have a tag in it, nothing to tell me anything about it. It was just gorgeous and you could tell that it was an actual kimono robe. And the embroidery of the dragon on there was just incredible. And the person I sent it to was just blown away at how gorgeous and how well taken care of it had been. But I found that at an estate sale. And let's see, I sold that for $35. I started out higher, but when I found I could not say who created it or anything, I knew that it was vintage, but I didn't know how long. All those kind of things play in. I thought, you know, I would accept her $35 offer. It had been in my inventory for 79 days. This next item that I'm about to show you is all from my bundle. There was four items in this bundle. First up is this Lucky Brand Butterfly Top. I thought this would be something that I would keep in my inventory for quite some time. Most Lucky pieces do sit in my inventory for a little while. And so I'm getting to where I'm a little bit more picky about what I pick out and maybe this is one that I was picky that that part paid off and so that sat in inventory for six days and then next up is this anthropology post smart floral tie scoop v-neck top and it has a tie where you could tie it there at the top if you wanted to it sat in inventory for 231 days and then next is this Anthropology Yellow Bird Cable Knit Sweater. And it was a reddish-orange color. And it sold... I'm sorry, got sidetracked here. And it, was, it sat in inventory for 194 days. No, that was... The Cable Knit Sweater sat in inventory for... Sorry. Sat in inventory for 175 days. And then she also bought the Anthropology Moth Open Back Top. And this was kind of a limey green color. And so I was surprised to see that it went. And I was very happy that it went. But it has sat in inventory for 194 days. It was really cute in the back. Plain on the front. But that whole deal was $55 total. Of what I got. And next up on the list here is this Anthropology Pilcrow in the letter press corduroy pants. And these I had for quite some time. And I really thought that they was had sold last season. And they didn't. They just sat there. I sold these for $18. They were in my inventory for 452 days. So getting close to that two year mark. And um, I was ready for them to go. So, $18 on those. Next up is the Athleta Black Stripe Swagger Skort. These were super cute. Had the ruffling down the front and back side of the skort. But it's Athleta made. She paid $25 and it had only sat in my inventory for 7 days. 
Next up is this NFL Pink Victoria's Secret Saint Tea. And I really think if I had put this on my in my closet on my closet in Poshmark a lot sooner, I probably would have sold it for more money. But I kind of got it on there towards the end of the football season as we were winding down and everything. But I did it what I did, and so I was able to still sell it. Sold it for $13, and it only sat in my inventory for six days. So, I was happy with that. And then, next up are these Vans Ultra... Ugh, tang Tangle. Vans Ultra Crush Pro Slip-On for men. Or, I guess, women can wear them, too, if they wanted to. But these were... Sold these for $20. And they only sat in inventory for three days. Vans have to be the quickest shoe that I can sell in my closet. And so, three days and they were out of here. And that same time, I sold another pair of Vans. Off the wall suede high tops. As you can see here. And they're different colors. And so, I was very surprised that they sold as quick as they did. But these, I sold for $36.00. And they were also only in my inventory for three days. Let's see. So next up is this Victoria's Secret Zebra Bikini Bottoms. Just all, that was only one piece that I had. And let's see. Sold that for eight dollars. And it sat in inventory for 244 days. And then the next item here is an LK Bennett CD Nesty Animal Print Cardigan. This was the item that I brought back from New York. And I was super excited to see what I could possibly make off of it. I sold that cardigan for $90. And it was in inventory for 246 days. But believe me, that was one that I was willing to let sit for a while. I knew the time would come around for someone that would want to buy it. I have another one, but it's an extra small, I believe. Or maybe it's a small, but anyways, I had two different sizes, and that one I'm still sitting on. So, next item on the list here is the Athena Harbor Allen Bandina Polka Dot Swim Top here. Super cute. It's off, you know, around the top. Two top, kind of. Polka Dots. Y'all know I like my polka dots. And then it has a little tie down at the bottom, as you can see here. Anyway, sold that for $15. It sat in inventory for 226 days. Next thing, and this blew my mind. One of the, I have a couple here that blew my mind on how fast they sold. You know, you get those items and you think, oh, they're not going to sell fast. I know I'm going to be hanging on to it for a while. And then all of a sudden... As soon as you list it, it sells, and you're like, wow, why, why didn't I list that a month ago? Was this Tom Petty and the Heartbreaks, the Lost Cities Tour. And it sold for $20, and it was only in inventory for one day. So, those get me all excited. But then the bad side is, ooh, where can I find some more of those? And then they don't ever, you know, they take a lot longer to sell than that one did. So, next up is this Rock Revival Gwen Boot Jeans. They sold for $44. And they were on or in my inventory for 233 days. Next up were these Tory Burch Cream Flip Flop Sandals. The lady I got these from said, you know, you really should, probably should just throw those away. I'll sell them to you for this amount. And I really kind of thought about that. I was like, well, you know, am I being crazy buying these? But anybody that knows Tory Burch loves Tory Burch. I knew that they would sell. It would just depend on who would actually take them. As you can see, the bottom sole or the top sole of the sandal was not in incredible condition. But the straps, the, the tongs were perfect, immense condition with the the embellishment on it. It was in great condition as well. Anyways, enough on that. They sold for $10. Sat in my inventory for 187 days. So, not too bad. 
And then the next were these pink Victoria's Secret sweatpants. Again, just like the Tory Burch, I was really hesitant about these pants. They did have a couple of places on them, so I was kind of worried, you know, if I did get them sold, would there be a case, you know, open against me? And there wasn't. The people were real pleased about the sweatpants. So, and they look comfy, no holes or anything. They're just kind of faded black. And like I said, had a couple of maybe paint spots on it. Uh, anyway, sold these for $7. And they were in my inventory for 163 days. And then I sold this Tommy Bahama long sleeve shirt. I picked this one up back in November, matter of fact, for my birthday trip that my husband took me on that we did the thrift road trip that you is in my one of my previous videos you can go back and watch all that but that was from that trip it was in incredible condition sold that for $25 I probably could have gotten a little bit more if I wanted to wait out a little bit longer but I decided I would go ahead and accept the $25 and it sat in my inventory for 53 days so not bad on that one. Next is this Fasaretta bra. And they, this bra was one that my mom had had. And she's in a nursing home now. And so she no longer had, has a need for it. These bras were in, in incredible condition. Looked like they've never been worn. Anyways, I sold them one for $8. And it has sat in the inventory for 264 days. And then next thing I sold was this cabby black sleeveless tie neck fringe blouse. Super cute black. It had almost like a scarf look that came around the neck that you could tie up if you wanted to. It had the fringe on the end of the scarf part. And it sold for $22 and it was only in my inventory for a day. And then I listed these. Lily Pulitzer Vintage 10 Ton Bouquet Capris, and I could tell they were vintage because the label for Lily Pulitzer was an odor label. And so, anyways, I put those on Poshmark, sold them for $20, and did that in zero days. So, that was a fast, fast turnaround. And I had those pants sitting in my mini pile for couple months or so and was like wow why did I go ahead and list those <laughs> and so now as I sit here and think about all the money pals I have sent out in my other room where I have everything that's not listed everything you see behind me here or throughout my other videos is stuff that's already listed it's already on the system but what you don't see out there is stuff that needs to be listed and there's a lot so <laughs> enough of that then this Ann May 100% silk floor blouse. I thought it was very 80s, 70s style. It had bright color florals on it. Sold it for $25 and it sat in inventory for 14 days. And then the last thing I sold in the month of January, the very last day, was this Anthropology Sparrow Ruffle Hem Cardigan. I've held this one in my closet for quite some time and so I was willing to take a lower amount person offered me $13 I accept it it had been sitting in my inventory for 384 days so I was real pleased in all of that and there was nothing I could complain about I beat my goal of what I did last year at this at that time and so I'm now at the point used to I want to do $400 net now it's beat my goal from the previous year of that month. So my total sales that I made was $596. The total invested for January that I did of all those items that sold was $179, which gave me a total of net profit of $417. So again, with me being a full-time worker, going to school full-time online, and trying to run this business part-time, which sometimes can be almost as full-time as well. 
I'm, very, I'm always pleased with those results. I have monthly goals I set for myself of how many items and how much I want to do. And by gosh, I'm going to fight tooth and nail to get to that number. So, I do have a pretty big number for February to do. And I got sidetracked with trying to make that intro video. And so, I've got to hustle these last two weeks of February to get to beat that goal. So if you enjoyed what you have heard and seen here, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. Again, please consider subscribing to my channel and ring that bell to be notified every time I do new videos. I will hopefully continue this. This is the first time for me to do this. So I'm anxious to see what people's thoughts are on it. If you do have any questions or comments or anything, all my information is down below. Please feel free to reach out to me if you like or leave me a comment below. So, without further ado, as always, remember that the dream is for free, but the hustle is sold separately. Bye.